wonderful family from Dinellan, as as all Dinellan is. It's a it's a great town to grow up in. It's a wonderful town. A lot of pride in this community. One square mile. So tell us who you are. Um, I'm Claudette McLaughlin. I'm Sydney's aunt, and I'm very proud of her. And I'm, I'm just ecstatic that she's the, the town is doing this for her. her. An elementary school teacher. Uh, oh, you had her in class. Yes. What grade? Uh, third grade reporter. Oh, so what is it like to see your former third grader <laughs> it's running awesome in the Olympics? Her, and I've seen her recently. She. She still does a lot of work with our juggling club here in town. Uh -huh. She's an amazing mentor for young kids. She's just a great, oh. great young lady. That's great. It's been exciting to watch, to watch her. I just want to say we're really proud of her. We're really happy to be here to support her. She's an awesome kid. And you are uh, Sydney's grandmother? Yes. So what does it feel like to be out here for her? It just feels great. It's a good feeling. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, I never expected it, but it's a good feeling. What, what was it like watching her on TV and uh, as she ran? And it was nerve-wracking. <laughs> really? You were nervous for her? Yeah, I was nervous. And I was rooting for her. Yeah, it was nerve-wracking. <laughs> That's good. Well, that's that's what a grandmother does, right? Yes. Yeah. So, what are you looking forward to, to uh, for her? Well, I'm looking forward to her going back in 2020 and making it all the way. Okay. Yeah, I think she should, she should be able to. That's go good. All the way, yeah, and bring home some kind of medal. All right. Like the gold or bronze or either silver. <laughs> what, what is that? I said, if she bring home the gold, bring home a bronze or silver. Okay, so you have high expectations for her. Yes, bring well, home a medal. That's good. Yeah. I would like to thank you all for coming, first of all. Um, I think it's the funniest thing when people ask me where I'm from, because I'll go to track meets and, you know, things like the Olympics. Where are you from? Oh, New Jersey. Where in New Jersey? Dinellan. Where is that? Uh, Central, you know? They just don't, they don't know about us. And I think it's probably the greatest thing because, you know, we're the smallest town there possibly is, you know? But there's so many people that have so many amazing things to offer to the world, and I think you know, to be one of those people representing our small little one mile town is absolutely amazing. You know, um, a lot of you I don't know, and a lot of you I do know, and I want to thank you all for coming and supporting me and watching me and, you know, just being there, you know, to back me up. And it is one of the hardest things to go to the Olympics. Um, there's so many pressures and so many outside things that people will never be able to comprehend or understand, you know. There's cameras, and there's media, and there's strangers talking about you on Twitter, and there's just so much to take in at one time that I think 
having amazing people to come home to is probably the best possible thing there is. Yeah. And um, this is an amazing thing to have all of you here right now. I was kind of shocked when my parents told me about it. And, you know, there's a fire truck here. <laughs> I just, I really want to thank you all. And it really means a lot to have you all here. And um, I hope I can take some pictures with some of you guys later. So, thank you. <laughs> You know. All right, Dad. So you've seen all this celebration for your daughter. How do you feel today? Uh, very overwhelmed. I mean, it's uh, overwhelming for your town to come out, and show uh, their support and force like that. And, uh, yeah, she deserves it. Taylor deserves it. They work really hard, and um, she's really proud. Okay. Thank you. What was it like to have the whole town coming out here for your daughter and your family? This is amazing. We didn't we didn't know what to expect over here. I, I'm blown away first by everybody here, by the fire trucks. Yeah, yeah, that was a big by deal. And how loud they were as we were going by. Uh, it's it's just incredible to have the town to know that everybody is here and everybody's supporting her, and to know that you know even when we were down in Rio, the town was getting together back here to cheer her on. Um, and I think the coolest thing for me is to know that they were so excited for her and for what she was doing, regardless of how she ended up doing in Rio, that the town was just so proud of her. Um, and everybody here today, you know, is, is showing that to us. That's great. Um, and I think what's really blown me away today is the signs. The Sydney McLaughlin yeah, yeah, yeah. signs that are going up around yeah. town and, and here. Now they're going to have arrows that says, here's the house. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> if it gets out, we might need to like go somewhere else. So yeah. Don't let it get out. Yeah. <laughs> is this a Sydney fan club? Yeah, this is her official t shirt. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who made those shirts? We did. We're her cousins. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm hoping that she will uh, remember this for the rest of her life. Yeah. I think it's going to follow her the rest of her life. Yes. You think it's going to follow her for the rest of her life? Yeah. It was a big it for her. I think she handled it well. Be so young. Yeah, I yes. think she handled it very well. Yes, I mean, the, That's a lot of pressure for a 17 year old. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. All right, thank you. Well, Sydney, congratulations again. Thank you. Now that you've had all this celebration in town, what are you thinking? What are you feeling as you're getting ready back to go back to school? Um, I'm excited. You know, I gotta go finish my summer reading and everything. <laughs> the um, regular things, huh? Yeah, try to be a normal teenager. You know, get back to life, hang out with my friends, um, maybe go to the beach. Do, you know, try to be normal after all of this. And you know, I'm excited to go back to school, see all my friends, my teachers, and hopefully try to get ready for college and try to pick a school. So. Okay, what was it like coming back after all that experience for you? It was exciting to come back. You know, I've been away so long. I've been traveling so much. I think that just coming home and you know getting some time to relax is really what I was looking for. Okay, well I hope you get that time. All right. Thank you very Thanks much. for your time. Thank you.